Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video and I apologize for that, uh, but I realized that I just reached over 100 subscribers and since you guys uh, have like been, hit, been here to comment on my videos and just check out the Muay Thai gear that I have, I figured that I'd just complete the set uh, and just show you all of the gear that I have. Um, so with that, uh, we're gonna just go ahead today and review the uh, Fairtex Curved Kick Pads. I don't know what the official term for these things are, um, I don't even know what they're called in Thai, but uh, we call them Thai pads as opposed to like boxing, boxing pad, box, fo we call them focus mitts, you know, the boxing ones. All right, so I hate when videos kind of just tell you how they feel about it at the end, so I'll just tell you about it in the beginning. I like these, all of Thailand likes these, all professionals use these, it's a no brainer, it's gonna last, it's just really expensive, that's all. Um, but if you buy it, you're probably gonna have fun. It's probably gonna last a, a while or more than your other commercial ones that you could find. Um, and that's how I feel about it. Okay, so for all of you guys that are still here, um, let's go over this in detail, shall we, from top to bottom. So I've actually had these from four, like, like two years now, I think. And um, they don't get used that often, actually, because I just use the gyms ones. Um, and my thinking behind it was like, I don't want any person to just kick my pads, but I realized that you actually have to break these things in for them to be fun to kick. Otherwise they're just like, I don't know, they're just not fun to kick. So definitely break them in or, or bring them to your class for a little bit. Um, and I got these off of Amazon. To be honest, they probably shipped from a supplier in California. So like they came, no, yes, that is true actually. I think these ones came from California, some supply in California got to me within like a week so you don't have to worry about those like thailand shipping things uh, i feel like compared to like my other gear reviews from yokao like yokao has resellers probably more in europe and in asia but not too much in north america which is where i'm based um so so there's like a mystery like if they'll come but fairtex is pretty like well distributed um so you'll get it uh okay so reviewing the thing from top to bottom let's just start with the uh let's just start with actually the face the kick pad the actual spot that you'll be hitting um, so, I mean, there's like printed, uh, text on here. I feel like judging based off of this, these cracks, it's probably just like a little thing on top, but I mean, if this can withstand some kicks and it doesn't get chipped, then like this will not get chipped until you kick it a lot. It's going to get chipped over time. This is the kicking face. What did you expect? Um, you could see here that it is getting cracked. Um, like the, the white, I don't know, ink is getting cracked, but the actual leather or synthetic leather, I don't even know this is real itself. It, it's intact. It's not ripping, right? Um, let's see. So at the top, you can see this design. I'm sure this is just the Fairtex logo. I think it looks super bougie, kind of like a, like a little like Louis Vuitton or something. I, I don't really like it. I wish they just kept the white uniform. Um, but the white does look good with this red stitching, which is... Definitely shoestring type material. It's nice and tight. It hasn't come undone. Um, there doesn't seem to be an end to it. Like it's not like tied off in a knot somewhere. Well, maybe I'm wrong. So it's tied off in a knot over there, but I guess it's they tucked it inside. So I would assume that's good craftsmanship or something. Um, you can see here that the edges get creased over time. Uh, it did not come out as veiny as this um, when it came, but Due to use, it, it does. Um, let's see. So it it is a little dirty on this side. I also like practice on the on the concrete and the blacktop. So these just get thrown all over the place. So most likely, like if you don't want this dark mark, you just take care of your equipment better. Let's describe the feel of this. It feels like harder than your like a purse, like a leather purse. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. It feels kind of like a, you know what it feels like? It feels like the soft part of like a car dashboard, like like a Honda Civic. If you were to touch the soft part, that's kind of what it feels like. Um, so let's flip over to the other side. Um, so uh, this black stuff is the same feeling and probably material as the other side kick pad. This white stuff, it feels very like, uh, a lot softer. It's like a softer le leather. Um, this might be the only real leather on here, to be honest, but this is more like a soft, uh, like a soft, like car seat, soft leather car seat. 
Um, that's what it feels like. Uh, it feels good. So, I mean, your arm goes here, but it's not like when you're holding it, you're not holding it and you're like, ooh, wow, this is great leather. Uh, like it just, you're just holding kick pads. Um, the same like uh, seat leather is also on the inside of these pads. Um, they kind of separate out a little bit right here between the buckle and then just like something that overlays so that your, your, so that your arm is not just scratching up against this metal buckle. I should probably just show it to you guys. Yeah, there's a little metal buckle there with some stitching. This does not come undone. Um, what else? This thing right here. Wow, that Velcro is hard to take out. Um, so it's good, I guess. Uh, it's a little pointed piece right here. Um, Velcro has stayed intact. Bang. Let's see, is there anything else? Um, Fairtex uh, logo. Uh, I don't remember what color it started. If I were to guess, it probably started off white and then just due to sweat, it just gets a little gray. Uh, wash it if you don't want it to be like this. I don't know how to wash it. I wouldn't throw this in the washing machine. Um, and then also the, uh, the holding thing. So the handle, I guess. This handle is like, um, it's tough. Like if you were to like hit something, sim hit someone with this, right? It probably hurt, uh, like just this part. It's, 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 it's hard, uh, but it is like uh, bendable. It's, it's leather, I guess, like a tough leather wrapped around something. Um, but it, it is like a handle for sure, um, which is like bolted down by these nails, I guess, these screws, they're probably nails. Um, and also, uh, I figure that just to tell you guys, whenever you hold, like I see these happen in, in my class, but like for new people, whenever you hold these things, you don't want to put your thumb inside because it's going to rattle around and you could probably break your thumb. You want to put them on the outside and kind of hold them like this. Um, I know y'all already know that, but just for anyone that might be new, um, that's what's up. Uh, oh, and I see a little tag right there. Let's go. I'll just go ahead and read it to you guys. Um, Warning, these products help provide a degree of protection, but are not warranted to protect the user from injury. Users assume all risk uh, of injury. Uh, yes, when you hold these pads, um, you're gonna feel it in your arms a little bit. Yeah. But compared to all the other cheaper ones I've held, I'm not hurt when I hold these. Does that make sense? Um, Okay, well, I mean, like, I don't, oh, wow, never mind. I was gonna give you guys an outro, but I just wanted to show this pad. It, this is even more cracky than the other one. Um, yeah. Anyways, they're kick pads. Everyone uses them. Like, there's pictures all over the internet of just Thai people just kicking the freak out of these things. And then, like, they're just, like, they look bashed, but they're still using them. If you want Fairtex ones, go ahead and get them. I like them because when I see them or when I hold them, I feel so cool because I'm holding some Fairtex. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys like the review. Let me know if you want a review, if you want a review of any other type of like mater material out there or boxing or Muay Thai equipment, I most likely have it. And if I don't have it, a friend definitely has it. Um, yeah. So with that, if you like the video, what would help me out is if you comment, I literally respond in like, like, like a couple hours. Like I've I answered so many questions about the sizing, how things feel, like how tall I am, like how long my shin is. Like I got you guys on the answers. Um, and just let me know what videos you want me to make. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I hope to get out another video soon. Peace.